Ryan the Car Guy here back with a viewer request video on how to install OEM fog lights into the Xterra. As you can see, my Xterra did not come with fog lights from the factory, but you can get a kit that will have all the parts you need to install it on your own. The kit comes in two major parts. Obviously, you have your two lamps, but then you also have your turn indicator stock for your steering column that includes the fog light switch. You can find these kits online. You can get OEM kits straight from Amazon, find them on eBay, resale sites, or if you're feeling adventurous, you can go to a junkyard and pick them off of one that already has the fog lights installed. I put a few links in the description below to help you source the kits. Now the beauty of the Xterra is that Nissan has these all pre-wired for these fog lamps. So there's no additional wiring that we need to do. It's all going to be plug and play for us. Now since we're gonna be working with electronics and especially since we're gonna be working on the steering column, which of course at the end of it has an airbag, we're going to start by disconnecting the battery. To do that, simply open your hood and then take a 10 millimeter wrench and remove the negative battery cable. Once that's off, let the car sit for a few minutes before you work on any electronic components. Now that that's all set, let's start by taking off the front bumper and getting those lights installed. Now don't be intimidated by having to remove all of these plastic pieces off the front. Once you realize that they're really just all for looks, there's no real function behind them, it's not really all that bad. So we're gonna start by taking off the grill and there's just six body panels at the top, so let's start by taking those off. Just get a flathead under the center clip, pop it up, and then the whole clip will come out, and just repeat that process five more times. Once those have been removed, there's two pressure clips here, and then there's two of the plastic clips that slide in and kind of pop up. So just start by pulling it away. There you go, there's the two pressure clips. And then down below, I'll see if I can get a photo of this, but um, down below there's just some little clips there that you need to push up on and then they'll slide out. All right. So there was four of those total. Just pop all four and then carefully set this aside. The reason we had to take off the grill is because there is five body clips holding the top of the bumper onto the frame. In addition to those, there's two screws in each wheel well, two screws on the bottom of the sides of the bumper, and there's four additional screws or bolts, I don't know, mine are missing, um, holding the bottom of the bumper onto the bottom of the vehicle. Just go through, remove all of those, and then this should come right off. Before you have these top clips out, however, make sure you set something down on your driveway or on the ground wherever you're taking this off, so you have a place to set your bumper once it's been released. As I was going through, I found that there is a bolt as well in the inside of the wheel well. So that makes three, um, well, two screws and a bolt in each wheel well. And I'll show you where that is now. It's behind your wheel well cover. So once you have your other two screws out, you can come in here, kind of pop this out here. There you go. And hopefully you can see it, it's right here. Now I'm just gonna take a guess that this is a 10 millimeter. So go ahead and uh, get that out and take each of these bolts out on each side and then your bumper should come right off. Okay, everything has been removed. So just start to pull it off here. There we go. Looks like there's two kind of pressure clips underneath the headlights. There we go. Excellent, and then we'll just set it down. Now that this is exposed, we can install our light. We have to do two things to the bumper before we can install the light, and one is to push the cover out for the hole, so just push that out on those three clips. And then here, we have a little, um, basically a screw mount, and we just wanna put that on the big screw hole. You're gonna have one that has a more vertical type hole that's for just a little pin to sit in. This is for an actual screw. So let's push this in here, set that in there. All right, and now the bumper's ready to go. So let's grab our light and we can prep that for the install. Once you grab the correct light, in this case, this is gonna be the left-hand side. Uh, you'll see that if you look at the writing, you're gonna know which way is up and you wanna just set that in there. And so you'll see that a screw will go in here 
and then there's a mount on the other side, this mount here. That's where this comes into play. So we're gonna push this mount into the front of the light bracket and snap it into place. Once we do that, we're just gonna install the light, snap the light on, and then just install the screw. All right, so we're just gonna slide this into place. Make sure that this pin here sits inside of this little holder. That first, push down, push down over here. There we go. Make sure it's nice and tight in there. Excellent. So that's in place. And now just screw in your screw. All right, just give it a little shake. Make sure everything's good. This is nice and tight. So now just repeat this on the other side and get both lights installed. Now that we have lights, they're gonna obviously need some power to work. Underneath your headlight, you're gonna see a bundle of wire that's been tied up to the frame. Just grab a knife and very carefully release this tape. There we go. And then it's kind of tied up, just untie it, unravel it here. There you go. Now there's the electrical connection for your fog light. So do that on both sides and then we're gonna install the bumper. Now before you do your install, just take a look at the back of the fog lights and look at your connector. Just make sure you're comfortable with how it goes on because once you start the install, you don't wanna be fumbling with it when it's halfway on there. But now that we're good to go, grab your bumper. Kind of slide it generally into place, but make sure you still have enough room to plug these in. Good, make sure they're installed. And then just kind of set everything into place. All right. Make sure that your guides, you have two guides underneath each headlight. Make sure that those are lined up when you're installing. Awesome. Great. There we go. Make sure your wheel well guides are in as well. Up above. Excellent. There you go. Now for the rest of the bumper, just reinstall it the way that you uninstalled it. All right, I like how it looks. It's nicer than just having these little blank spots right here. But now that the lights are installed, we need a way to turn them on, and that is where the new stop comes in in your steering column. So let's head inside and start taking that apart. Now this is the point at which you want to ensure that you've taken your battery cable off. We don't want any power supplied to this airbag module while we're playing around in here. So to take this off, just go ahead and grab your adjuster, bring your steering wheel all the way down, and then there's just three screws down below that need to be removed. Now there's likely going to be clips connecting these two. So let me just kind of feel it out. There we go. All right, so what I did is uh, just kind of worked, very gently worked a flat head into one of the seams and they just started to come apart. There we go, excellent. So that just pops right off, slide that out. Should do the same here. We may have to move it up to take this out. Well, you know what? We may actually just leave that in there because it looks like it's behind this. It has a lip that sits behind this bottom panel. So we'll just pull this back down and we'll start removing this because this should be pretty simple. Now the stock itself just has two pressure clips, one on the top and one on the bottom. So push both of those down and the whole unit should slide right out. There you go. It's that easy. So we just grab our new one Make sure everything looks good, looks fine. Take that unit, make sure everything lines up before you go pushing it in there. Push it in until you hear two nice clicks and then that's it. So we're gonna take our column cover and just reinstall it. Push down here, there we go. If you want to test everything, 
um, you know, just use a lot of caution if you're going to be turning this on without the cover on. Um, I would recommend just putting the cover on. It was so easy to get off. Just reassemble everything, hook your battery back up, and then test it. And if there's an issue, it's just three screws to go back in. This slides over. This is just kind of hanging out here. This must be for something else, but we'll just make sure we don't pinch that or cover that up. There we go. Excellent. Line up all the little seams and clips here. Awesome. There we go. Now just put our screws back in. The only real note here is don't over tighten these screws um, only because you're screwing into a plastic mount. There's not a metal mount in the top of this column cover. So just tighten it, you know, kind of, I don't know, just kind of feel for it. Don't, you, when you'll know when you're pushing it in too far. All right. I'm just articulating it to make sure I installed it correctly and it looks like I did. Everything's back together. Our new stock is in and now we're ready to test it. So I reconnected the battery and I turned on the lights. I flipped the car into the on position and now I'm going to flip my new switch here and all right. It looks like they are working. That is excellent. So this is great. We have OEM fog lights installed in the factory location. One of the big benefits with going with a kit like this is that the fitment is correct and all the parts are just literally plug and play. All in all, I would set aside about an hour and a half to two hours max to do this job. Taking all of this off is actually quite simple once you know where to look for all the clips, screws, and bolts. And if you have any questions about this job, just hit me up in the comments below. That is gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to let me know by hitting that like button below. Also subscribe and hit that bell button so you're notified when I upload new videos. Lastly, if you want to keep up with what I'm doing, head to rtcg.tv, and thank you so much for watching.